Well, good evening. I, I don't have any concrete poetry here, but it's on the touch screen, I think, uh, in the uh, other room. But I have more traditional poetry that I'd like to read to you. And the first one is called For My Father. The garb of one body gone, hand tailored by weakness and resolve, by tension and acceptance, nothing hidden by show, the respect he granted others a gift, though the world had turned its back on him, a misfortune only as words. What lingers is a vocabulary of momentum in speaking about the dead. His leaving life's journey sudden on a star-pricked November night. His watch of lost time forgotten, resting with cufflinks and coins. Unwise to sate the sentimental heart or steer into trifling the bond. In contrast, a love poem now. The Library of Love. Your allure and elegance vanish in these dull words, blunt sentences, dry sticks, twig punctuation, though books search for your eyes to brighten their leaves. Trees fall in forests for you and rivers climb mountains as the sky balloons itself to altitudes of desire. Alphabets cannot be invented to describe the reality of your touch. Preambles of unpleasure mark the utterance of centuries without you, while the classics trade on your future where silence is ironic, fabled in the library of love. Oh, Earth Day was last week, I think. Um, and uh, this is called Earth Day. It's a little late, but here we go. Sapient or fribble, bobtail, malkin, fumbler, bumbler, or pillock, hotter now than a gulf of eons. Every half-life we act indivisibly, fight over the new, fight over the other side of the hill, fight over every fish, pea, or leek. I make a mental note what's changed. Mouth parts portend and scrape together, poems, treated like weeds, rainwater greasy, acidic, particles infest shadows hang light limp, an apology of postulates traced on the moon, living bone undergoing radioactive decay, kindnesses when candles put out, rotting trunks trace memories of amber producing trees, a shoe print, thigh bone of a unicorn. Who demands referential consistency? Species at their vanishing points, the barge of life, an arc to nowhere, riding the proverbial fire. A couple of more here. This one's called Discount Poem. Think of the effortless thoughtlessness going into this. On second thought, do not. A discount poem is not forever. No late country daffodils. No guns to the right of them. No hidden meaning. No symbols of any merit. No fancy hope. No despair. Just a poem of subtraction. A minus poem found in a stack of paper. If there were something in the discount poem, someone would know. Whatever, whenever, wherever simply a self-aggrandizing act by a narcissist who'd sell his grandmother for another page in print. <laughs> As Diogenes the Cynic said to Alexander the Great, get out of my light, <laughs> and he meant it, exposing the second rate for imposture. Nothing salvages the discount poem ever. <laughs> and one more, this is called Nine Lives for Artie Gold. Defiantly individual, he confronted life's angularities. All the intuitive strength of his back holding up a world of desire. 
Those who read his books will delight at absurdities shadowed by the casual order of things. Who'll be listening, Artie? What overheard? Oh, I'll do uh, one more and then I have a, a poem by Artie's I'll read. Okay, so here we go. This is called Four Tweets to a Young Poet. And I tried to keep them as tweets, okay. Been around so long after hours looks early. Patches can be rough, yet nowhere's higher than the page. And there's lots of ordinary to use. Black and spark, give up the assertive scuffle. Relax, words drowse, go enjoy the season's immunity. If not, prize your DX over DT, D equals detachment. Transactionally challenged, don't burden yourself. The poet always gets Jack or Jill, Jill, though in the scheme of things, this may be troubled times too. Respect your instrument, its offices will surprise. Work for true poems, true to you. The rest are styrofoam and glue. I've been reduced to this, vexillology. Flaggies will notice this one resembles old glory with its upper left blue and white, yet not filled with stars, but hard non-stelliform strokes. There's familiar stuff, red bars on a white field running to the fly edge yet one so unforced it must be called a line. Fess my pale. That's flag talk for surprise. The thin red lines a ruddy trail of the Nor Royal Northwest Mounted Police bringing law and order to what will become Canada's second breeziest city, flapping a flag only a mother country could love. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much. Montreal. The city is filled with the flowers of dawn. The city is filled with the flowers of dawn. The city is filled with the flowers of dawn. As, As night, night pulls, pulls away, away into the primitive distance to regions behind warring mountains, always majestic above the labial shore, a royal wedge in the pearls of blue island. A meridian light mixed, mixed with rain, rain on, on the, the window, window in a lost city. Within, within the city, city, without regrets, without, without second, second thoughts, thoughts, at the drop of letting habits die. As for a second, it seemed the heavens were raining. Heaven. I open myself to your attractions. Your subtle dejas. In spite of myself believing in handstands. Kids on skateboards. Time, Time magazine. <clears throat> I crisscross in haiku ironic passages finding Montreal. I see your curves. Your breasts. Your countless Marys. Appears. Goddesses of possibilities. Of love sickness. Of, of self-destruction's self chrysalis. chrysalis. You dance under the wavering shores of Andromeda at the golden neck of all the demolished years. I see it in my experience. Wanting so right a word. In the calm eye of the poem. I see death city meeting the frail ends of growth. I see the apathetic offerings of man. Stand no higher than the top knot of the mountain. Sanctuary for birds. Calling to the soul. To, to freeze. Montreal. Clitoris de la fée des étoiles. Prisoner of your every shape. Your soot seeps into my taste. I want my desires ever gratified. Loving. The iron of your shape. 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 Hot city. Cold, cold city. Loving you. Montreal. Loving, Loving hostile, hostile loves. loves. 